From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports Eye on the Band for Wednesday, February 13th. I'm Mike Ludlum. We start with girls high school basketball in the big pool. It's Westwood, number two in the rankings right now, hosting number four, Marquette. And we will pick this up in quarter number three. Patriots lead 28-17. For the red, white, and blue, Tessa Lease. Looking for Maddie Koski behind a screen. She hits for three. Koski had 15 points. Lease had a dozen. Marquette coach Ben Smith saying, I've told you a thousand times, don't let them get open. Again for the Patriots. Koski, nice pass to Ellie Miller for the layup. And the Patriots lead was climbing. Then a pass inside the Carly Patron who puts it up and in. As you can tell, it took Marquette a little while to get going in the third quarter. Avery Leedy, Sydney Keevy over the Aspen Michelin, 4-3. And Aspen says, let's go! Again for Marquette, Avery Leedy the rebound ahead to Michelin. She spots with a bullet pass, Sydney Keevy for two of her 14. Redettes made a run in the fourth quarter, but Westwood held on for the win, 45-37. Hop in the car, let's go to Nagani. The Miners entertaining Iron Mountain. Mountaineers with the lead 31-30 starting the fourth quarter. Abby Nelson, little bounce pass to Peyton Drew, and the Miners are now up by one. Riley Papour double teamed. Jordan Stoner is not, and she hits that one for three. Mountaineers back in front 34-32. A few seconds later, Abby Nelson for three. Her first basket of the game, surprisingly, Miners up 35-34. Then Stoner to Papour in the lane, flips it in. Mountaineers back on top, 36-35. Nagani regained the lead on free throws, then Hannah Voskel the steal and the score. And Nagani pulls away slightly to post a 48-40 win. On the scoreboard. Rapid River and Forest Park will try again Saturday. Michaela Warner had 34 points for Munising. Downing North Dickinson 61-51. Brianna Smith 21 for the Nordics. Antonaga races past Waters Meet 68-23. Kennedy Anklin had 23 points and 21 rebounds. And Mid Peninsula needed just about all of them to beat Angadine 46-41. Barriga doubles up Jeffers 54-27. North Central and Superior Central also will try Saturday. On the boys' side, Taylor Delangelo leads Westwood past Gwynn 71-48. Tucker Taylor had 23 points and 13 rebounds for the Model Towners. It was Nagani shutting down Gladstone 49-33. West Iron County emerges as a four-point winner over Ishpeming, 44-40. Escanaba, 68. Menominee, 58. Wakefield Marinisco sneaks past Lakeland and Hubble, 68-65. Did not hear from Montanagan and Hancock. Chassel, 78. Jeffers, 54. Dollar Bay sprints past Barriga, 72-29. Big game in the Southern UP. Kearney Nato edges North Central, 55-53. Did not hear from Superior Central and Rapid River. Chris Chaperone had 24 points. Big Bay to knock in the win column over Mid Peninsula 70 to 52. Angadine and Manistique was postponed. Did not hear from Hillman and Cedarville. Sheboygan over Newberry by 10, 74 64. Ironwood 65, Drummond 44. And Norway gets past Forest Park 43 to 40. College basketball, go Gibbick visiting Bay. And Jordan Kramer didn't waste any time getting on the scoreboard for the Lady Norse. Go Gibbick gets a bounce off the deflection. And Ayana Nickel in the right place for the hoop. She had nine. Next, St. Ignace's Jordan Belleville ahead to Munising's Kelsey Ackerman for the layup. And moments later, Caitlin Hardwick with a steal over to Belleville for a short jumper. She had a dozen. Move to the second half. Bay continues to pull away. Paige Welch to Taylor Hunter off the glass and good. Big story of the night, though, Jordan Kramer of Norway, 26 points. She went over the 1,000-point mark for her career. As you can tell, the celebration is ongoing. Bay wins this one, 89 257. In the men's contest, Ryan Robinette had 17, five others in double figures. Bay over Gogibic 96 64. Mitchell Borseth had 21 for the Sampsons. Let's go to high school hockey. Hancock at Marquette. Marquette with a 14 
six-game unbeaten streak, and Andrew Fidrizi to Ansel Frost, and Marquette has a one-nothing lead in the first period. Right off the face-off, zing, that would be Cody Geidebeck slinging that one under the blocker. To the second now, and Sean O'Connor is going to get the loose puck. Nifty little toe drag, and Gaetano Camrata bangs that one in. Marquette up 3-0. They go on to take this one 7 nothing. Also, Traverse City Central beats Sault Ste. Marie 7-2. And in team wrestling regionals last night in Division II, a very good Gaylord team did what it was supposed to, beat Escanaba 71-12. Blue Devils beat St. John's for the regional title. Over in Division Three, Gladstone held off Grayling 45-36, but Remus Chippewa Hills won this regional 60-18. And in a wrestling meet at NMU, the NMU OTS Freestyle and Greco-Roman wrestlers defeated a team from the U.S. Navy by the count of 14 to 3. Besides the Minnesota State Mavericks, the team of the Western Collegiate Hockey Association you probably don't want to play right now is Lake Superior State. Starting from December 7th, the Lakers have gone 11-2-1, splitting series with Minnesota State and Bemidji State. The Lakers are in fourth place in the league, while Michigan Tech is in sixth. Plus, LSSU defeated the Huskies to win the Great Lakes Invitational at the end of December. Tech head coach Joe Sean says the Lakers' experience is paying dividends. They're very veteran oriented. They have a very good power play. They're getting good uh, scoring from their from their upperclassmen um, that are that are having career years. They're doing a great job with that. Their defense is is defending well and and uh, not giving up a lot of second chances. And they have good goaltending. So um, we want to continue to grow as a team. We want to to show that we can uh, play against the top teams in the league. Face-off Friday and Saturday from Taffy Abel Arena in the Sioux is 7 o'clock. NMU is tied for second place in the league and visits fifth place Bemidji State this weekend. And when the Wildcats greet Bemidji State on Friday out in Minnesota, one forward will not be in the Beavers lineup. WCHA officials announced a one-game suspension Monday for sophomore Aaron Miller. The suspension is the result of Miller's five-minute major penalty and game misconduct infraction for checking from behind. That occurred at the 822 mark of the second period in the Beavers game Saturday against Ferris State. Upon review, the hit was delivered in a manner that warranted the suspension.